so I'm I'm doing this video for totally for for Bill Cooper um, I remember I saw an interview of uh, Doyle Doyle was this guy this young guy that was around him helped him when Bill had his radio you know and you know after watching I'm crying guys because because it's so hard to leave guys it's so fucking hard I was telling to myself, I don't want to speak anymore. <sighs> it's just hurtful. <sighs> I don't know if I will make it. I just got angry and I, I was crying now because my father is a monster but I have no nowhere where to go he he has told to my mother that I should uh, go away from here because I'm a parasite in his opinion and my only fault is that I don't want to touch money anymore I just want to work for what I eat and for what I consume and this monster this monster of my father knowing very well that now to work you have to put the muzzle eight hours and this is the minimum that you will get you will breathe your own stinking breath to work let's not talk about it now they will make it that to work you have to get the, the fucking vaccine and this monsters, this monster, he has the, 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 the possibility, you know, to keep me here. He has the money, he, he, he has a pension now, he has this fucking money, and yet he's ruining my life, guys. I'm, I don't know how my body is still resisting alive, guys. How, how come this body is not getting some cancer, some something, guys, of all this, the evilness of this monster is is doing and I all always like today I was almost cursing God for 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 doing all this to me <sighs> just asking to him why the fuck you don't kill me why the fuck you don't take me away from this theater from this shit it is too much man it's too fucking much And lately I've, I've been thinking about <sighs> what the fuck did all these people that listen to Bill Cooper guys <sighs> where where are people <sighs> that got all that knowledge This fucking boy, whatever the fuck. I remember like four years ago or three years ago, I watched a video of this dude because I heard Bill would mention him. And I said, let's listen to this dude. He, in, the, in a kind of a documentary, he explains how they kill Bill. <laughs> And you would think that this monster, you know, would do videos like I do, for example, not caring of what will happen and everything. But no, this monster works for the system like everybody else and just don't want to talk anymore about Bill. You fucking piece of shit! This is... I'm so sick and tired of the sheeple guys. I'm so fucking 
I had enough. I don't want to speak anymore, guys, because there's nothing to speak anymore. These people are... <laughs> have only the appearance of humans. Bill Cooper has... I, I saw even his grave, just a fucking shitty grave there. <laughs> you fucking pieces of shit. All you... People that have listened to Bill Cooper and now you shut up because you say, oh, who knows, the system might do something to me. You fucking piece of shit. You think that by doing nothing, everything is going to be fine, you pieces of shit. I mean, these people do not even do it on purpose. I mean, my father came here and, and he was asking me, why are you crying? I mean, he doesn't even understand. He's, he is evil, guys. It's so painful, guys. And I, what could I tell to him? He was telling me, let's talk. Talk what? You piece of shit. Instead of, you know, taking your wife and even my brother, you know, away from Rome, telling them, please don't go. The people in the metro, they will make, they will almost kill you for not wearing the muzzle as you should. And yet, this monster wants to live alone here, to enjoy himself here, not even me to take care of. Where the fuck should I go, guys? I, I wanted to just walk in the mountains, they do not let you do it here, because it, this is Italy. The most stupid people are here, guys. The most dumb people are here, guys. don't want to even bitch anymore guys I just don't know what to do guys I mean they say knowledge is power but you know I, I have knowledge we have knowledge Bill Cooper had knowledge yesterday I was in the mountain uh, I took uh, a piece of grass and I said man this piece of grass is is more complex than I can even think of. Small, all the shit going around with its DNA, all the stuff that it does, for example, as soon as you cut it, the DNA st starts working in a different way because it's pain now, not growth, so it has to grow again. Can you imagine the complexity? And that was just a piece of, of grass. It's like... We are like that grass. Like... I made this analogy, like... Like a, a piece of wood that is carrying this flame. And we are... Uh, expandable, like... A, like that piece of grace of uh, grass that can die can grow in a place where someone will stamp it and will kill it but the seed continues this knowledge continues this is how I see us we are maybe because I was thinking let's say for example thing will be fine people will not seek for, for freedom guys if things were fine so in a way I should thank God for forgiving my father that is like this all this pain gives out freedom guys if we didn't have pain what the fuck we will be pieces of shit so it's like there's nothing to do I was thinking uh, that right now I it's impossible for me to even uh, when I see someone approaching me that is a human being it's hundred times um, better to be approached by a serpent guys the serpent goes away 
I have come across serpents and animals. They just go away, leave you alone. Humans are, are the most brutal enemy that we have, guys. Humans. When you cross someone, you would think, ah, oh, another human being, ah, oh, I can talk to him. Oh, thank God for another human being. I can talk, I can express myself. No, guys. That's why I was thinking today, I, I don't want to speak anymore. Not even to the uh, people of my family. It's hurtful, guys. What the fuck can, can I explain? My, 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 my father came here, I was crying, and he come here and closed the window immediately. Because the first thing in his mind is, people around are listening to me crying. And he closed it. It's hurtful their stupidity, guys. It's really hurtful. I came across one in the mountain yesterday and he told me, uh, but if you want, I can uh, find a job for you. And he told me, there is this uh, in Avezzano, it's a town near where I live, a big town. There is a, a, for electrician. Do you have a diploma? Just uh, if you have a diploma, it's uh, it's fine. I said I had it, but uh, dude, I just want to to work for myself. And I don't. I, I already worked in the um, uh, factory. I know that I, I'm a, I'm a slave. And to work there, I will have to be poisoned by the system. I don't want to work for Satan, for this sh sh shit. I just want to work for myself. I collect wood in the mountain every day. I work here just for myself. But it's undoable because this monster, this monster of that has the money, doesn't want me here. So now today my mother is coming because I, I'm not responding to her in, in the phone anymore. Because she told me, she told me that you know your father uh, doesn't like the fact that you are not working. I mean, this is this is what you get, guys. If you work for yourself, they see you as a piece of shit, guys. If you work in the factory for Satan, ah, oh, you are revered. They give you lots of money. You can have a horse to fuck and toys to buy on, on Amazon every day. You can ah oh, enjoy, enjoy those money, and everybody will will uh, respect you, guys. They respect my father. They see me as a parasite, guys. My father is a piece of shit. A demon. Watches soccer. Drinks beer. He is seen as a normality, guys. By other normal people like him. It's just painful, guys. I have nowhere to go. He has the money. I told my mother I will stay here, here where he is, not come where you work like a slave in Rome. It's painful for me to see my mother uh, work every day. He, she gets up at five o'clock when it's dark every day, take the fucking slave carrier with other morons with a muzzle, s breathing their own stinking breath. And having people around you, she at work has to tell them that she has gotten the vaccine, otherwise they will look at her like she is an alien. This is normality, guys. I'm fucking sick and tired, you know. The sheeple is a sheeple, guys. They are animals. I don't even consider them humans. But this video is for, for the pieces of shit that listened to, to William Cooper. You pieces of shit that now you fucking shut up. Say nothing. Where are the, the Patriots guy that would listen to Bill Cooper? Where the fuck is their channel on BitChute, for example? Let's say on YouTube they will be censored. Where the fuck are these monsters? This guy gave life to them and would explain to them in every 
broadcast they are about to kill me someone that says this thing i have already uh, sealed my my faith but what i'm doing he did it nevertheless even even though he knew what humans were guys and he sacrificed he was a real christian guys and would respect other views he would never dare to to let a christian you know spew all the shit you know because christians guys are christian only on words but when it's a time to do like he did you know to sacrifice yourself by telling the truth nobody tell nobody does it guys where are the fucking christians now We got only fucking businessmen truthers here. Fucking shame on you, you motherfuckers that hurt Bill Cooper and do nothing. <sighs> Boyle, ah, uh, there is this interview of this piece of shit Boyle or something like this. And it's not just him. Where, where is he, uh, the wife of Bill Cooper? Where is the daughter of Bill Cooper? You have no idea how careful he was and how lovely he was to, to his daughter and to his wife. Where are they? I know they are women. Where the fuck are you waiting? They are almost killing you now. Where the fuck you gonna talk when you'll die? They killed your husband, they killed your, your father. Do you have the guts at least to speak? Unbelievable, guys. Ciao.